Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this install. What kind of system you think you're gonna see here? You are going to see a Navian NHB 150. Very, very sweet install. And the only uh, issue I got with this install is no way to flush the heat exchanger. See this, guys? No way to flush it. Anyway, looks nice though. Probably change that Kalefi there. Sweet install. All right. Hi, Steven. So this is not gonna be as entertaining as yesterday's video, but just a comment. Mm -hmm. You know that guy, Steve, that plumber from Massachusetts? Yeah, I heard of that guy. You know, I think I lost respect for him. Mm. Why? Why? And I'm I'm sure I'm gonna get like blasted now for saying that. Uh huh. But you know, like I've mentioned his his name many times in the past. Mm -hmm. I've uh I learned about Testo from him. Wow. About like eight or nine years ago. Nice. And that's the reason why I have Testos in the trucks. But I recently found out this morning, mm -hmm. thanks to you, <laughs> that I am blocked from his channel. What? <laughs> yes. I'm blocked. Mikey Pipes is blocked from his channel. Like, that's what up. the f front door? You co you commented, right? I commented, right? Because mm -hmm. he, he, he changed an expansion tank uh -huh. in yesterday's video. Yeah. And I commented, like, hey, great job. Uh -huh. And I'm like, I wonder if you're going to use a, a pump to pump out the water mm. at the expansion tank, Copy. right? And he, whatever. And then we saw when we were at the bodega yeah. on the way here getting breakfast uh -huh. that you didn't see my comment there. And then also someone else commented, hey, a uh, Steve Lab, you know, to check out Mikey Pipes, Pipe Doctor uh -huh. from New York. And I also commented on that, like, yeah, Steve's the best, the best, you know, Great plumber in Massachusetts, but uh -huh. well, I'm in New York and I'm growing, uh -huh. right? And no one, th no one thumbs up it except for me. Mm -hmm. And then we went to the guys with the comments, and I'm blocked. My comment is not there. Like, uh -huh. come on, Steve. Like, really? Mm -hmm. Hating like that? Like, I, was, I don't know. You know what I'm Psst, crazy man, crazy. Anyway, we have this Whale McLean triangle too. What is this? This is a. I don't know, who is this? Oh. Well, McLean, I'm pretty sure. All right. And then we have to change the UV bulb. We gotta change the filter in there, wash the filter in there, and change the neutralizer over there. All right, let's get going. All right. I'm gonna change the condensate neutralizer. I use the Axiom refill media. Comes with these rocks and these fine, fine minerals there. But I want to point out something to you guys. So let's take a look at the condensate tubing. All right, we have a, a Y fitting right there. So water's coming down from the Navy, and I'll show you that in a second. And then it goes through the neutralizer. And I guess they added that in case it never clogs up. Let me just put this back up there because. I don't want to drip onto the towel. All right, but take a look up here. See that brass fitting they're using? You know why it's corroding? Because you have, and also now dripping because I just touched it a little bit. Because the condensate is very acidic and it will eat that brass like it did right now. Another observation is the outdoor uh, reset sensor. <laughs> Love it. I haven't peeked inside there yet. I just want to take care of everything external. You know, because of the 1 8 check valve right there, I didn't need to drain down the whole system. I just popped off the Calafi automatic air vent, put the new one in, and opened up the top a little bit so it works. All right, we're gonna replace this with three quarter PVC, straight to the neutralizer, and then to the pump. in the media. I 
Let's do it about three quarters full. Like that. Wipe off the top. Cap back on there. And then we'll screw the cap back on. Nice and tight. A lot of great uh, comments on yesterday's video where I used that half inch tubing bender. And I didn't notice, but apparently a lot of uh, plumbers out in uh, the other side of the pond in the United Kingdom and, and I think someone said Scotland as well, Ireland maybe, that that's all they do. They use tubing bender on their copper lines and uh, don't have to use the fittings. I never knew that. <laughs> and uh, you know, the comments were great because a lot of people, and they're asking questions like, are you anoing the, uh, the, the copper? Um, or is it regular, just regular L copper? I was like, yeah, that's what it, exactly what it is. So we're gonna change that out. I already got my male adapter right there. I'm gonna come up and put a union here to make this more service friendly. See how the very acidic condensate just eats away at the brass. Look at that. It's disintegrated. And I see that a lot. So, here we have three quarter by half inch PVC by female adapter. And we're gonna put that right there. I still can't get over it. He blocked me from his channel. You know, I know, I think I know why. Really? I think I know why. Wanna you know why? Why? Because I put in so many of these things <laughs> and I replaced so many heat exchanges. Like I'm like the Navy and King. Exactly. The Navian doctor. Forget about Mikey Pipes. Call me Navian doctor. Ah, uh, and he hates them. That's crazy. Really? Yeah. Well, that's what people tell me because I don't really watch him that often. But you know, when I see something good that he posted, you know, it's, I, I've learned a lot from him. Like I said, you know. Yeah, yeah. Me, my haters on this side. I'm, you know what I hate? Mm -hmm. You know, respect. Mm -hmm. You do good work. Mm -hmm. Ah, get out. One hand, Mike's trying to cut the PVC. Boom. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm cutting into his revenue. Maybe. You know? Flipping off the channel. Not for nothing. You know, revenue is nice. You know? Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not too shabby. <laughs> Not too shabby. But damn, really? I don't get it, man. Nicey nice. But still, that's some real petty shit, though. Super petty shit. Super petty. You know what I'm saying? But he's he still a small fry. If, <laughs> if we get blocked by Roger Wakefield, though. Oh, man, I love his channel. Then we doing something. Right. You know, he has like a whole production crew. Yeah? It's crazy. He's got that, that, that recording studio. It's, he doesn't go into the field that much. Normally, he's sitting at that desk, yeah, yeah, that desk. and he's got that Ferg that stupid Ferguson sponsorship behind him. But I hate Ferguson. I hate Ferguson. You know who I love? Supplyhouse.com. Even though, even though they won't sponsor me, I still love them because if I need something, if I need an extra old number thirty, if I go to like the local supply houses like AF Supply, they give me some bootleg granite. That's, oh, but it's made in Italy. Right? Bootleg granite. Made in Italy. Like, no, I ordered Amtrol. Amtrol X-Troll number 30. I, call, I go to supplyhouse.com. 
Have it in 12 hours. Bang! That's, your door. That's real service. All right. We got the three quarter inch PVC tied into the neutralizer. We replaced the media there. We changed the Kalefi automatic air vent on top of the Tago air scoop. I'm a little shocked by that. You know, they did all this nice, neat work, and then they put in a cast iron $10 Tago air scoop. Like, come on, man. Come on. Kalefi up there. The venting looks good. We're just going to. Uh, Wrap things up here. Everything looks nice and clean inside, like it is brand new. And then we'll head on to the next. All right, doing a combustion analysis. I washed the inlet air screen right there. I still gotta do the condensate trap and screen there. But if you notice that noise, it comes on when the domestic hot water uh, zone comes on, it's caused by this spring check. Right here. All right, something's stuck in there, it's rattling away. And as you can see, it's all soldered together, there's no unions. And I propose the easiest way of resolving this, cut this out, two couplings, piece of one inch copper, press it together, and then the circulator, you know, if I'm, if I'm unbolting this, I might as well replace it. But putting in a Tayco 0015E, three-speed ECM circulator with the IFC in it, or if you want to play games, again, I got to undo everything here to take the circulator out, which means the gas is going to be shot. I'm not taking any chances. If I'm going to remove this circulator, I'm replacing it. I am not coming back here for a recall. So they said they're going to live with the noise. And I said, cool, bet, awesome. I'm sure I'm going to get some real criticism on that but listen if you touch it you married it and you own it and if it dies next week next month even next year like oh well you just worked on it so uh yeah you gotta replace my circulator now <laughs> you know i've been burned once before all right i'm gonna finish up here I'm gonna change the trap let me clean out the trap right there that's pretty easy by the way let's get the uh, no, towels there anyway take this clip out and do we have another bucket here that doesn't have where's that shit bucket i found it right oh right there we got garbage yeah yeah it's good oh, all good okay. this is this is the old neutralizer media by the way see that put that right there drop this see all that nasty stuff I'm clean that out in a sec all right Come on, baby. One-handed mic. Okay. We're gonna silence that. Mm, now she's calling again. <laughs> All right, let's wrap things up. Steven. Yeah. Pop quiz. Here's a valve tag for boiler water supply. Where is it? Uh-oh. Don't start shaking now. <laughs> Let's see how great a teacher I am. You like to put this on the supply side, but this is not your install. Correct. You're, yeah, you're getting close. If that, if the expansion tank was under the air separator, mm -hmm. Then between the air separator and the expansion tank would have been a T for the pressure reducing valve. Mm -hmm. Hold on, this is fucking serious. Fuck you. Which one do you think it is? Alright, find the air separator. That's the air school? No, same thing. Oh, okay, yeah, air separator. Right there. No, it's not, look, okay, now look at the air, air scoop, uh -huh. air separator, right? Go on this way. All right, and the water is coming from the boiler, mm -hmm. from the left, and it goes out on the right. Is it going anywhere else? Yeah, it's a little circulator. Uh-uh, uh-uh. It comes in on the left, goes out on the right. Is it going anywhere else? Uh-uh. Really? Wait, it comes in on the left, yeah. and it so goes it, out on the let's right. Let's look at the air, air scoop. Copy, right here. All right. 
staring at it, right? Mm -hmm. We have some rust there because the old Salefi was leaking water. Yes, sir. And we changed that out. On the, on the left-hand side is the water coming into it, mm -hmm. right? On the right-hand side of it is the water leaving it. Yeah. And on top of it is the automatic air vent. Mm -hmm. And is there anything else? Using valve. So to the left of the pressure using valve is the water supply. Correct. Let's put a valve tag on the boiler water supply. Okay. This one should be much easier. Oh, gas? Yep. Gas. Furnace boiler. Oh, thank God that thing shut up. There's the next one for you. Thank you. There you go. I got the gas, three quarter inch gas coming to the Navy, and the valve is right above it, right there. Alright, and we got the sticker, and we got our combustion and draft analysis print out. That's how I finish a job. You ain't, if you ain't checking, you're guessing. Yup.